Hey community, my name is Brett Sims and I'm a fine artist originally from Oakland, California. I'd love to show you the art prints I currently have available in my shop for sale and stay tuned until the end to hear all about this collection. And girl, I love it in your company. Here with you is where I'd rather be. Give you the best of me like it's supposed to be. I know they won't make you go, won't make you stay Stay in bed watching your pretty face Baby girl, I be selfish with you Girl, I be selfish with you Now they won't make you go, won't make you stay Stay in bed watching your pretty face So in my work, I depict women with bold and brave and fierce um, features and um, my work is definitely channeled light. Um, like all my work is kind of just, it's, I, it's above me and um, so I would definitely say it's channeled light. And it is a form of healing for me because um, growing up I had really bad depression and uh, a lot of anxiety. And art was a way that I kind of moved through it and healed myself through it. Uh, so it acted as a deep form of healing for me and, and throughout my entire life, you know, until this day. And um, I use it now as a tool to help others. And so I definitely believe that through art, you know, you can remember your inner love flow, your inner light, your, um, your inner joy. And so my work is basically reflections of inner love, magic, growth, and presence. And I believe that, you know, um, your deepest growth, when you're growing at your deepest level, uh, you have to learn how to glow and shine, even in the dark, glow in the dark. And that's what I've had to do most of my life and it's made me all the stronger for it um, but it's also helped me to be able to uh, create my work is kind of like a portal to shine light on others and to help them remember you know um, what exists within themselves so my work also exists to remind women of color and and of all people to not be afraid to shine even when your light conflicts with social norms. Um, I believe in doing you, I believe in being yourself and your most authentic self and blooming where you are planted because especially during these times right now a lot of us are planted in uncomfortable circumstances in environments that we might rather not be in but you can always bloom where you are planted I promise you that. Um, and I depict the, the moon and the flowers in almost all of my creations because I feel like the moon is a representation of shining in the dark, glowing in the dark. It is the light in the darkness. And I believe that we all have the ability to grow and to stay grounded in the present moment through all of our obstacles and through whatever may come. Um, presence has also been a huge factor in me moving through, you know, any anxiety or depression that I've faced in life and learning how to be still, learning how to meditate, learning how to breathe. And so that's, that's deeply in my work too. Uh, flowers teach us stillness. Flowers remind us to be here now. So um, my work is also, it, it just encompasses so much of nature and I believe in returning to nature and um, paying attention to the smallest aspect of nature, you know, the smallest flower because I think that they can teach us so much. And I feel like the flower of consciousness needs the mud of which it grows. And I think that, you know, sometimes, like even flowers, you know, flowers are, are put in dirt, are put in, you know, gross situations sometimes and, you know, they bloom into something beautiful and something beautiful for the viewer, no matter where they are. So my work is definitely about cultivating the garden within. That is the slogan of uh, my Art by Brett brand. And um, it's really just about learning how to cultivate your mind 
and how to be a free thinker and not go along with you know group thought in any sense and to come into the own light of your own consciousness and to bloom beautifully and brilliantly and loudly and to share your light and to share your truth and to express yourself um so i want you guys to always remember your inner love and to protect your magic and to courageously keep rowing and to always remember that the only moment that ever really exists is right here and right now and you know i always say that like when you're feeling discomfort or like you're not okay or you're freaking out or maybe even having an anxiety attack like always you know breathe and ask yourself like am i okay in this moment am i here and now and alive and well and breathing right here right now just that simple question and and yes you are and and you know we have to remember that just being alive is a miracle in itself and there is so much more than like doing and producing and how much you make or what material objects you have like you know it's my work really just reminds us to get back to being the essence of being and, and just being still and being in our own inner peace and inner love and um so yes my work is is it's welcome to the garden welcome to the garden you know um i think that a garden can bloom within your own mind i think a garden can bloom within your own heart if you allow it to be so so that's pretty much the story of my work and um yeah i hope you enjoy it hope you shop it um please join my community and email me if you have any questions